Welcome class to one of your final sessions of the keys to painting. We've learned about a lot of great keys to painting. We've learned about how you can move the viewer's eye through the painting. We've learned about how you can really decide and show one focal area and how important that is. We've learned about how pattern and how when you are far away from your work and you move closer to it, there should be that intrigue in all different levels. We've learned about keeping those three planes, the foreground, middle ground, and background colors separate. Now, this time we're going to be learning all about design. And when I refer to design, we learned all about the elements of art and the elements of design in either art one or maybe even in another class you'd learned about them. The elements of art are line, shape, color, form, texture, space. And the idea of design is how do you display these elements of art in your work? Which ones do you focus on? How do you show it in your artwork? Now, I thought it'd be kind of fun to look for line, shape, color, value, form, texture, and space in these different famous works of art. Now, let's look here. I would say this is a wonderful example of which of the elements of design. Well, I would say it's a great example of line. I mean, look at the way these lines are bringing you around this image. And the texture created here by the different brush strokes is very soothing, soft, and it really makes this woman's face look that much more interesting. Now if we go and we look at some of the other ones, you know, in this surrealist work, you see a great example of, once again, line and color. Um, you see a great example of shape, and the shape of this, in, interesting shape of this guy's arm, and the surrealist shapes that are all around it. Now, if you go back, what do we, value, form, um, space. I mean, what an interesting space to this work. The value and the, and the form of this different wild things that are coming out of this guy's, I don't know, overalls. I mean, it really makes you just kind of interested in the work. And this work, I would say, has wonderful design. And the composition of that design is kind of how we talked about how the viewer's eye can move throughout the work. But I think this is just a wonderful surrealist example of design and how you can use that in your work. Um, once again, just to emphasize the point that the design is how you move and which of the elements of art you choose to use and how you choose to use them. Now, do your best to bring a variety of those elements of art. Don't just do a painting about texture. Even though that's interesting, why not bring it some sort of a, a line in there or some sort of a, you know, a change in the value inside of the textures? I would love to see more of a variety in your works as you're kind of going and creating these works. Thanks so much for stopping by. We have our final key to painting, which is going to be color. And that will be coming here very shortly. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Cheers.